picking out paint today for the rooms of the kids. He's going for blue, she's going for pink. So here am I, I'd like to welcome you in my new home slash studio. So here you see the front door, it has Beauty and the Beast vibes, I love it. So from here you have the toilet, there's the staircase up, for now there's a little dog pillow there. So here we go to the living room, here you see the beautiful green color on the wall, it was already there. I put a little bit of decoration already in here just to make it look already a little bit homely. And here we go to the kitchen, there's tons of like cleaning supplies now. So we have been bringing cleaning supplies here. This floor will change. It's tiles now, but it'll become like this wood looking PVC stuff. So this is the most important door, the studio. So here I'm going to show you the before situation of my studio. So it's kind of like the size of a double garage. Um, maybe a toilet is going to be built here. Uh, well, the washing machine was there. So here you see my kitchen area. <laughs> so this is still very much the before situation. I do have some shelves here, which I can use, of course. And well, here you see the other side. Um, so these here you see the doors to the backyard. And here there is a closet. And that is because inside um, you see the kettle and the pump for the floor heating system. So in the dining area of the house where you now have the tiles, there is floor heating. And I want to have it here in the studio as well. So this flooring, they're not tiles, it's just like vinyl. So we can rip it out. The floor has been like made even and I want to have floor heating here. Yeah, this is the before situation and hopefully soon this is going to be transformed into my beautiful newborn studio. Today we're going to pull out this material, it's just vinyl, it's loose and then they're going to make like uh, the floor heating inside. So we're just going to pull it out. Okay, so today we're in the new house again and they're going to put the floor heating into the studio floor. So it's going to be really exciting, so I'm going to film a little bit and I also brought a few more home decor items to the new house. So every time I go, I bring something with me to make it already look a little bit homely. And it, I mean, it saves us time on the actual moving day. Um, and I have like a new carpet that I bought, like a little carpet. Okay, so yeah, you hear the kids in the background. They're sitting right next to the camera reading books. Um, yeah, I have a new carpet here. I don't know yet what time the workers are going to be here. Um, and we might be here all afternoon, all evening. So then we'll, uh, like my daughter and I will paint her room pink because now it's her turn to help painting. But look at this beautiful carpet. Beautiful. painting some pink and blue rooms and now uh, they're gonna drill the underfloor heating. Okay, so today will be my last newborn shoot in my old studio and then this afternoon my last cake swim session in my old studio tomorrow i'm going to pack and then saturday it's moving day so it's all pretty last minute so tomorrow no shoots the kids have school in the morning so i'm gonna try and pack this place real fast and people are coming to pick up some items from the prop sale uh so today i'm gonna try and prepare some packages and then 
maybe even post them today i don't know um so yeah right now i have a final cake smash so it's a little bit messy from this morning's newborn but i'm not gonna tidy up anymore of course things are gonna be washed and then packed away so here we have the decor for today's cake smash with liam and then i'm gonna pack um so yeah Okay, so here we go. So I finished the cake smash section and the newborn section. Um, the cake smash boy couldn't really sit by himself yet, but it didn't matter. He was just crawling around, having fun with the cake. And now I have 45 minutes before I have to go to school to pick up my kids. I still have to pick up thank you cards so they can hand it out at school tomorrow. And I gotta send all the packages. So I'll probably take the props home, which I'm gonna send. And then I wrap them at home and label them with the kids around me. And then just come back here tomorrow to tidy up. But first, let's just start with something. So empty everything. Bye bye studio. On one side and then things I'm gonna throw out on the other side where to start where to start I should probably get some boxes here to actually put my stuff in and I don't have any um, okay video with me decorating my new studio will probably be like how I store things um, for now I'm just like this is gonna be just a box full of wraps and then I can always like reorganize them in the new studio so yeah this is a great way to store your wraps and it's just like a decorative uh, ladder don't use it as a real ladder because um, it wasn't made for that I'm gonna pull off these things uh -oh. okay so it's already looking a little bit more like i'm moving <laughs> except that it's just an explosive mess anyway so most of the products here are going to be like shipped or picked up tomorrow um all the headbands i'm just gonna leave it on the stand probably this one someone has to help me to take it down uh flowers i don't know yet um my beanbag fabric i don't know if they can stay on the rack that we can just lift it like in the car like that um the newborn outfits they're gonna stay like this because they can't really fall off here hopefully they can stay on the racks as well um, so you know, I think I'm gonna pop some balloons. <laughs> so in my head, it needs to be less chaotic. So I'm going to already remove the bigger pieces probably, so that it looks more like I have an overview of what's needed to happen here. So I'm gonna take down my backdrop systems because they still take up a lot of space. screen which is perfect and has served me well um, sometimes the sun was reflected in the windows across the street and it would give me like sunspots on my set which of course is terrible so I put this in front of the window and then I didn't have sun on my set anymore now the big question is how to fold it back up um, yeah because that's a little bit harder but it's a very nice thing I like it um, 
So there must be like a system on how to do it. I managed last time. No, no. No, this is not it. No. Maybe folding it double. It must be like a, a clever way of doing this. I think it was something like this. I'm getting somewhere, yeah. Wow, second attempt. I didn't cut anything, I didn't fast forward. This took me less than three minutes, I think. Perfect. Okay, so if you want to see how to fold it up, just go back to the video and play it again. I'm not quite sure if I'll be as successful next time I'm doing it. This went pretty well. I'm curious if I still have carrying cases for my drink drop stands. if they were still clean so I could just use them again during a shoot uh, of course if they were dirty or just looking terrible I would throw them out but I have new ones for the new studio so these ones are gonna be out I should get scissors okay since I can't find my scissors I'm going to pop balloons using staples I'll put this fragment definitely without sound for the people who hate hearing pop balloons I'm oh, sorry I'm oh, sorry I'll Okay, this is it for now. I'm coming back tomorrow. Okay, so today it is Friday, the day before the big move, and I've been pulling out stuff this morning. So it looks completely different now. People have been picking up stuff, but also not showing up or canceling an item last minute, which is my least favorite part of a sale. But anyway, so I still have items here, and I'm going to pack them with some Dutch cookies and maybe like a little thank you note um for buying my prop which is kind of fun um but i'm going to show you what i have now but it's a little bit crazy because i still have to do a lot a uh, freezer is going to be delivered this afternoon i brought the kids to my parents so they're staying over there uh this night which is good but at home i still have to pack the kitchen the bathroom one storage closet and like the clothes from our rooms i think that covers it so I might order some um, sushi tonight and work online. I don't know. Here are still the items that were sold in the prop sale. Here you see the Paloma shell. Um, my dad is going to be the driver tomorrow with the moving truck. Uh, he said that maybe we can keep these ones on the rack. I don't know. Um, so here comes the disaster. So I still have to empty out this one and that one. But for now this is all coming with me of course. Like these ones are easy, you can lift them up and they won't fall off. Same with the headbands, here are the boxes. Here, I don't know if I have to take off the hangers, but we'll see for now. So here I still have props which are coming with me, this is the clock. Uh, here are some like uh, studio stands and soft boxes. Chair, and then here we've got the wooden boards. Here I got some flocatis, I might still put them in like bags. Here are bags full of maternity dresses and whatever. Boxes of, I don't know. I don't even remember. Posing pillows are inside there. And I don't remember. Uh, of course, this is all coming with me. Uh, here we go. Some more light stands. This is coming with me. Um, and then here, some more backdrops. So yeah. Oh yeah, and this I still have to sort out as well. But it's getting pretty empty, but still like a big disaster.
Okay, so this is the status now. Um, I still have to, of course, pack this. But first I have to take that from the top. Uh, so all drawers are empty, toilets empty, everything. That I had to do today it would have been great it's already 3 p.m. now I still want to send the packages and I can't find my tape anywhere or my pen to make the labels so I'm just gonna leave it here and then come back next week to send the packages so I'm sorry there are a few days later um, I feel like I kind of packed what I could pack I ran out of boxes and now I have to head home and still pack everything it's already 3 p.m. So I don't know, maybe I'll continue until 3 a.m. And then my dad will be ready with his truck at 7 a.m. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so much stuff. Whew. So this is the damage. I wanted to pack it all, it doesn't fit. I'm just gonna leave those socks, soft boxes the way they are. Um, yeah. I ran out of boxes, so I just packed like fabrics in bags. Clutter. I just, I hate clutter, but we'll get through it. It'll be fine. New studio will look lovely. Okay, so I'm still gonna get rid of this one. That, this is gonna go to a secondhand shop. This is garbage. And then this I need to send next week. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so today it's officially moving day with the studio stuff. So we're emptying it, putting it into the, the truck. Um, hopefully it all fits in the new studio. So yeah, this is my last name because it is um, a family business. Which is why, why it was so easy for us to get trucks and why my dad is the driver. Oh, I see there's something. Oh, my lens. So yeah, super cool that my dad could help. It's going really well. Lots of things could just be on the racks because they're sealed with plastic. Okay, so this is it. Bye bye studio. Now I'm still coming back to clean a little bit. But for now we packed everything, so it's uh, good to go. I'm unloading the truck <laughs> into the new studio and it is full. So next video is going to be putting, me putting everything in the right spot. Because it's uh, not where it should be.